Hello and welcome to round five of the Manufacturers Series exhibition. Uh, this one from Fuji, which is ahead of another one in Fuji in the Nations Cup with the Audi e-tron. But this one is the Manufacturers Cup, so we're using my R8 as we settle down and wait for a gap in the traffic. This is the qualifying, in case you hadn't realised. Obviously, races don't start like this in the pits, except possibly the ones where you have to run to the car. But um, yeah, and I, and I know at some point I'm going to introduce the wrong, the wrong race. I'm being that confused with which race we're in, which round we're in, whether it's manufacturers or nations. But one of these days I'll get it wrong. I've already got a couple of the thumbnails wrong, which I've had to correct. But never mind that. Now, here we go on to our outlap, which, as usual, we'll skip. You don't need to see the outlap. So bye bye and hello, here we go, end of the lap to start our first flying lap. We haven't set a time so that 16th position doesn't matter and don't look at the times on the right of the board because for some reason they're not even working. Uh, they don't update so we're just going to have to look at the time as we cross the line, top, middle and centre. So, on you know, the first goal, we're a bit closer to that guy in front than we really, really wanted to be. We wouldn't really want to be that close, except maybe at the end of the lap when we're coming down the final straight. Because as you'll see in the race, if you subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss it in the race, you'll see how much benefit the cars behind get down that big main straight. So we're navigating this funky little midsection before heading down this fast, long not quite straight but flat out piece down to the hairpin before the technical section at the end of the lap now it says they were two tenths up on our best but we haven't done any best yet so i don't quite know where it says purple sector unless it's because i'm the fastest at the moment in that that sector but not looking too deeply into that at the moment just to see what we can get out of the car now, in the Nations Cup, in the summer when I raced here, I didn't do very good at all. I didn't like the track. I didn't get used to the track. It was, uh, I was all over the place. I was racing with, uh, I think I was I was in the D drivers at the, at the time, I think. And I said, oh, I go a bit wide there on that final turn. Lost a bit of time there. So yeah, not my favorite track, but we've had some good, better results in practice in the lobbies, so. Fingers crossed, I can go a little better. And this first lap is a 142.0. So bear in mind that I went off at the end of that lap. That's not a bad time for a for a base a base time. A, a starting off sixth place currently, although that will change, no doubt. I'll I'll drop those people go faster, but hopefully, hopefully, I can go faster. So we're already two tenths up in this lap. And again, so far, the driver in front of us hasn't hampered us too much. He's been far enough away that any mistake, well, he hasn't made a mistake, which is good, but, you know, any mistake he makes might might just hamper us, distract us, but he's doing all right. So, so far, we're both, in fact, who is it? It's, um, it's the, I can't read his name. And I can't see him anywhere on the board near me, so he's either above me or behind me. Uh, someone's pitting now, so back into this technical section, which is really tricky. I don't really like it that much. It's not my cup of tea, but now he's greyed out. We were catching him, and thankfully I didn't hit him. Don't know why he greyed out there. No idea. Maybe maybe he's on a slow lap. I don't know. No idea why he greyed out there, but I'm just thankful. For that. Otherwise, there might have been some penalties involved. Uh, certainly a loss of time. So come around this final corner this time. Can I keep it clean? No, I've gone wide again. Now that guy behind me has got a penalty, but I've gone wide again. But am I any faster? I was faster. I was faster in the first couple of sections, sectors. And yes, six tenths faster. But bear in mind I went wide again. There is more time out there again. So that was a 141.4 which puts me provisional ninth. That is the guy who I was just had in front of me for most of those two laps. The the ring the ringio the 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 ring that I don't even know that then high 
Beringo? I don't know. Anyway, not to worry. Uh, oh, uh, coming round. Uh, the looping right hander up to the sharp left. Like a blind crest almost. And then the long trek down to that hairpin, bottom of the circuit. Uh, I didn't see my first sector time this time, ironically, you guys might have done. But let's have a look as we come down through the second one before the hairpin. And we're actually down two tenths down on this one, so not, not better, not the greatest. Maybe we'll have to pit at the end of this lap and put some fresh tyres on. Well, we won't pit. What we'll do, we'll cross the line. And if we need to, just pause, exit. That gets you back to the pit really quickly. So there's no point driving into the pits. You cross the line. And then if you need to, come into the pits, exchange tyres and go out again. Hopefully have enough time for another lap. So, can I keep it on the track this time? We're with two tenths down on our best lap so far. Just a little skirmish that time, but not too bad. How did I do through that whole final section? From two tenths down. Can I do any better? Do I need to come back in the pits again? And we're getting a one. That's a great lap. Provisional third. Wow, yeah, 140 point. That's a whole second quicker. Bear in mind, I was two tenths down after the first two sectors. Wow, that was a great final sector there. Puts me in provisional third, but I've already dropped down to fourth. Um, obviously, there are a few guys still finishing off. I did I did pit. I did exit and pit and come out again, but I didn't have time for another flying lap. Um, okay, so we're starting in fifth. Yeah, fifth was the best that I could do with that one with the other people's time. So thanks very much for watching. Make sure you join us for the race.